is TFNN, the Tiger Financial News Network. TFNN Headline News Update. Good morning, everyone. Basil Chapman here on this Thursday, the 11th of July. Let me just get this. Yep, July. We've got the Dow 27. Had a spectacular session yesterday. Winter leg E. That's fascinating because um, it was stalling at the uh, before the open yesterday. It was just stalling. It went to the Chapman Wave inside track repellent zone. Now that's become a propellant zone. Do we go much higher? Is this kind of a top? What, what are we looking at? We'll do that in my show, the Tiger Technicians Hour. But this is a 10 o'clock Tiger Financial News Network update. And finally, you've got this U-shaped pattern that I said could go to a W formation going towards the previous high. And that's what we're seeing right now with the Dow at 37,761. Um, Look at the S&P. The S&P at this particular moment is actually at all-time highs. It's trading at uh, 56.37, uh, up four. Now, what's really important about this, and I'll discuss this in my show coming up, the Tiger Technicians Hour, is that we are right at the cusp of breaking out of this green nine-period moving, I'm sorry, this green, look at this major uh, resistance area called the inside track repellent zone. So if we start to trade above it, and I said, do we expect to get to the 56.30s in, in July? I said, it's a possibility, but let's just see what happens. Here we are. We're looking at the QQQ. It's the same thing. The QQQ is up uh, sharply. Well, it is, now it's pulled back. It's down 81 at 502.15, but it went to its own inside track repellent zone in the daily chart. So it's holding very well in this particular area. Uh, All-time highs yesterday, amazing, almost the same today. Look at the IWM. Now, with the, if the rates are coming down, the, what the um, inflation report earlier on was really positive for the small caps because they're the beneficiaries of everything that's going on right now. And I said, we are looking at a rotation. The reason why we are long the IWM, the Russell 2000, for about a week now, or maybe a little more than a week, is because we're anticipating that if there was a break of this inside track repellent zone, that would be spectacular. Let's look at gold. Uh, gold is up strongly. It's in leg D in the daily chart, up 34. Let's look at bonds. Uh, bonds are up, whoa, whoa, strongly, up a dollar and a half. Let's look at crude oil. I'll be back for the Tiger Technicians Hour. Crude oil's pulling back a little bit. See if you I don't see this as negative right now. It's, uh, it's looking good. I'll be back in a moment.